using ClickUp as a CRM. Can you do it? Should you do it? And if you should do it, how should you do it? That's exactly what we're gonna talk about today. Hi everybody, I'm Yvonne Hyman with AskEvie.com and I am a business efficiency consultant for digital entrepreneurs. So if you are a content creator or a coach and you want to systemize, optimize, or automate your business, you are perfectly right here. So hit that subscribe button so you get notified every time I go live or upload a new video. And if you don't just want to use ClickUp as a CRM, but also to collect feedback from your clients, I'll show you my workflow for that right at the end of the video, so stick around. Having said that, click up as a CRM. The lifelong questions we had. Should we use, can we use ClickUp as a CRM? Now, if you're new here and you don't know what CRM is, CRM stands for Client Relationship Management or Client Retention Management. Same kind of thing, same kind of idea behind it. Now to me, because that means a lot of different things to other people, to me, CRM means the process of bringing in clients and taking care of clients. It's your lead funnel. It's not forgetting a birthday. It's knowing which state of your business that client is in. Is it a lead? Is it a prospect? Is it an active client? Is it a past client? All the things. Now I'm going to show you in a second something I have tried over the last few months. I had spent about an hour with Every Peters, who is a fellow vetted consultant, and tried to automate what I consider a real CRM, meaning the automation of a client prospect management. Somebody comes in and says, hey, Evie, I want to work with you. Cool, happens all day long. But I now need to figure out, is that a valid client? Am I the right choice for them? Do I need to send them somewhere else? Did I email them? Did I not email them? Did I send? There's a whole bunch of stuff going on before you know if a potential client is actually a valid lead or if it's just sometimes a waste of your time and not worth a discovery call. So how do we do that? Let's get on over to my old setup. I kept this just for you so you can see that. If you see right here, this is my incoming list in my CRM folder. And what you see is all of the people that did schedule a coffee chat, a discovery call, emailed me, requested something, all of the people. I had an automation set up straight from my scheduler in here to pull that data in and set this up. And as you can see in here, the lead source, did they come from the vetted consultant program? Did they come from the website? Did they come from YouTube? It did get assigned to me. When did they have their calls? When was the date of request? Which status is this in? Do I need to do it? Am I already working on it? What lead stage are they in? And all the things and all the things. Now there's a lot you can automate with this in Integromat. And I really played with it and I really wanted to make this work. But honestly, if you are wanting to use ClickUp as, hmm, what do we even call that? Lead funnel? It is a lead funnel at that point. But if you want to use ClickUp as the sales management piece of things from generating leads to validating leads, this is a mess. The integration that needs to happen behind the scenes to make this work, to automate this, to not manually have to go in here and change statuses and stages and all the stuff, don't. I have a client right now whose sales team is so happy in Pipedrive and they do all of their sales stuff right in there. And then that's where the automation comes in. The moment your sales team is done and that potential lead is validated and it's really a warm or a hot lead and we can do something with that, that's where you then move them into ClickUp. And all of this stuff right here, just forget about it. It is way too much manual work and you know me. I want to get the manual work out of your businesses and not more into it. So if you want to use and charge IO, for example, which I use and I'm building up right now to take care of that sales flow, if you want to use Pipedrive, whatever it is, there is better solutions out there that can automate that flow and help your sales team. Now, once your sales team is done and they have validated that lead, that's when you automatically pull that data from whichever tool you're using and you are pulling it right in here 
into your validated leads list into that CRM. That's when you are pulling in the information for that specific client. That's where you then start with your lead stages, however you wanna set them up. I have been quite granular in here. And as you can see, those are still the old ones from my old workflow. At the lead source, where are they coming from? Do all the things. Just don't do the determination if this is a valid client or not with and click up. It's gonna to be too much manual work. Now that we got this piece out of the way and took care of the sales process, now you have an actual validated lead. What are we gonna do with this? How are we making this a CRM? How are we making this a content management? No, I don't like the word content. How are we making this a client system, a client management repository? Actually really simple. If you look over here, we have the CRM folder. Underneath there is the incoming, which is the one we're gonna throw out. The validated leads, that's where your automated leads come in from your sales funnel. We have our active client list, which are your active clients. We then also want to collect past clients. The moment they say, hey, we are all good right now. We don't need you right now. We'll call you back again when we need you again. Move them into a past client list and make sure you have a recurring task on there that tells you every quarter to follow up with them. You know, warm leads are always easier to turn back into a client than trying to get new clients, right? And now we are really going into that CRM piece of things. In services, what you're gonna do is you're gonna set up all of your services in here. You're going to set up a custom field that has the value of those services. It's literally just, it's a numbers field. It's a dollar field. There we go. I call it value. I hate price or that kind of thing. My clients are valuable to me, so that's a value. US dollar. It's the custom money field. Now we got our active clients. We got our services and the value with the services set up. Now this is where the magic happens. We are going into the plus and what we have to do is we are setting up a relationship field called services. This will pull in the information from the services, meaning you can choose multiple services from that list that you set up to show in here. Now you can create a roll-up field right in here, but I don't wanna do that. I wanna be able to see the services in one and the value in the other, which is why we are not doing this right now. If you just wanna do it all together and show up kind of a list, go for it. In my case, we only want the services. Now what you can do right here is when you click on it, the services pulled up and the first service they got was a strategy session, cool. The second service they got is monthly consulting. Awesome, now my services show up right in here. If you would have done the roll up right in the services, this would just be one box and you see everything in there. Again, another video. In this case, we want to have another field that now is a roll up field. And we are calling this value and we select the relationship of services. That is the services we set up right in there. The roll-up field is going to be value. That's the value custom field of the services. So you see how we go multiple steps? Setting up services as a list, pulling your service tasks from that list right in here into a custom field, which is that relationship field. And now we are pulling that custom value field from that list through that relationship field into the roll-up field. I know, it can get crazy, but it's really fun. Calculate the sum out of this, and now look what magic happens. <gasps> that value field takes those two service tasks, takes the value field of those service tasks, and sums it up. Now, if I go in here and I add another one, and I say VIP day, let's refresh the whole thing just so you actually see the magic happening. And you can see the value roll-up field just updated. Now, that right there is client management for you. Using the roll-up fields and just keeping it simple. Keep your sales automation where it is, where it's working, where you really can automate that right now. Then pull in the validated leads into ClickUp. Look at your active clients, have a past client. And here's a little pro tip for you. Have a feedback form. Have a form right here in ClickUp that you can use for your clients to give you feedback. 
and keep it right in your CRM. There you go, that easy. Now you have a perfect folder setup in ClickUp that allows you to track your active client, the value on your active clients, which services they bought, when did they start with you because you have the start date right on your client fields and perfect. Most of this happens automatically and you barely have to touch anything, yet you can pay total attention to your clients and what's happening. If you wanna get even more help and more ideas on how to use ClickUp in your business as a content creator or a coach, come join my Facebook group, ClickUp for Content Creators and Coaches. I'll see you there.